guys, so uh, this is the result of uh, today machining of this particular enclosure. You can see here that I've made some mistakes and those uh, the, the the offset was totally wrong because I've zeroed my tool according to the corners and to the height of course but uh, I didn't uh, take into consideration the the tool diameter so everything was shifted to uh, to the right with a couple of 1.5 millimeters per side so yeah that was kind of that was that was a bummer uh, after that I've actually understood the mistake that I've made and uh, everything turned out excellent the finish I don't know if you can see it the finish is great again I'm not pleased with the I'm not pleased with the uh, the end mills that I have but uh, yeah the finish is just beautiful the total runtime for this was a little bit longer around 15 minutes because uh, I, I went with the 0 0.2 step down I wanted to, to see how everything goes uh, the, the measurements are all according to plan so let's see I've decided to make those 7 millimeters hole uh, of about uh, 7.2 this is a 5 millimeter straight and this one is 12.2 uh, uh, if I remember well according to CAD let's see here uh, let's see how uh, let's see yep it's it's 12.2 in diameter so we're good and now let's see the results I'm going to zero in everything okay so I'm going to measure here just 7.09 but let's see I'm doing this with one hand so it's kind of creepy this is more like it it's 7.12 7.12 millimeters from the 7.2 millimeter advertised dimension this is 7.1516 but again I'm doing it one hand only so this will going to have some influence this is 492 but uh, to measurement to previous measurement that I've made was more like 500 it's 499 498 it really depends again I'm doing this with one hand only and let's see this one look 1223 1223 quite quite pleased with the with the result yeah it's very uh, repeatable so uh, I'm quite quite pleased with the results uh, of course the the end mill again it's not it's not three millimeters straight it's 298 or something like this 296 at this particular moment so it's 296 so we got 0 0.04 millimeter difference from here yeah and of course this caliper not being the sh sharpest tool in the shed although uh, it measures quite quite okay so um, I'm quite pleased with the uh, with the finish and uh, with everything that went through. Of course, I'm going to use this for some uh, prototypes and stuff like this. But turned out great, and 
it, it, it's nice to have everything uh, with such a close tolerance and uh, it's nice to have them like this without having to I don't know, doing it myself I don't know if I told you but the run time was around 15 minutes a little bit longer than I would expect it but that that was also my fault it's uh, it should be around uh, seven to to eight minutes but again I know Jim that you consider that is totally okay to use a four flute and meal uh, but I'll have to lower the I'll have to lower the feed rate a little bit more, uh, not to clog it. Uh, I would prefer to use one or two flute end mills and see how how everything improves from there. Uh, it will arrive. Everything will arrive. I don't know to the middle of this week, so uh, should be here soon, and I'll make some tests. I'm sure that I can I can actually pull. Uh, the timing uh, under seven minutes that that's more like it and uh, also I will I will have a, a jig made for for the table in which I can place uh, I don't know batch of ten for example and get them milled all together in the same time because uh, it's kind of I don't know if you if you have to make a uh, three four enclosures that that would be okay but uh, it would be nice just to go around hold the machine only once and then uh, cut it like uh, through like butter you know uh, of course I can I can make a uh, I can make one uh, one enclosure uh, jig place the jig on the table and then place this over it and ha have the jig uh, firmly attached on the table and just move the the, the enclosure but uh, I would like to mill uh, 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 some, s not only one enclosure, but I would, I would like to mill four, five, six, ten in a row, so I can just finish the job and get it done, and everything should be up and running. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this. I hope I didn't get you bored to death with the uh, with uh, with, uh, with this new machine. Uh, and uh, maybe you will find it useful if you are going to get one and uh, it will save you a lot of trouble. Uh, and yeah, always forget when you are going to zero your machine, don't be like me, don't be stupid. When you are going to zero your machine, just found the, the, the edges. Of course you can do it automatically and I'm going to do it automatically soon by using a, a probe. Uh, just go find your edges and don't forget about the tool offset so if you are going to use a 3 mm end mill your offset will be 1.5 mm if you are going to use a 6 mm mill you, your, your offset will be 3 mm so you have to compensate for that with the G0 command uh, it's, it's something basic just G0 Z uh, X uh, 3 mm uh, G0 Y uh, 3 mm and uh, that's it, that's all, and you, it should move everything with a, a 3 millimeter uh, offset for a, for a 6 mil uh, uh, end mil or 1.5 or whatever, just half the value and you'll have it there. Uh, have, the, have the diameter of the, your, uh, your tool and you'll have it there. Okay, bye guys, have a nice evening, see you.